Mmm, look at all them copper fingers. It's also how I find out if I have cuts on my hand. <laughs> yep, the, I've got one cut. The vinegar found it? Found it. Right there. <laughs> Several weeks ago, we decided to bake a baseball bat out of ash, and you guys in the comments wanted us to make one out of aluminum. We quickly dismissed it, but then... We didn't. Then Dan's like, what do we do this week? And I said, let's make that aluminum bat. And we like a good challenge, so here we are. But we need to make a few modifications to our setup to be able to do it. And uh, these are kind of rusty, so we need to cut these bearings out and put in some new ones. That looks pretty centered. Batteries to the head. Nailed it. Last time some people suggested we just have the water jet spin this. And the reason why that's not a good idea is there'd be nothing slowing it down and the water jet would just spin it up like the skateboard wheel, like the saw blade, like it would so just, many other things. It would just keep going and go faster and faster until something burns up. Also, we want some resistance in there. So it's cutting against it and not just spinning the whole thing. So that's why we spin it the opposite direction that the water jet would spin it. When we did it, the wooden bat, we found that it was best to, without this turning, to cut the profile out of the four sides and make basically a square bat and then spin it up and then run the, the path on it to actually round it. It was a lot less cutting in the actual while it was spinning. Yeah, if we just tried to cut this while it was spinning, the wood said it was going to take like four hours. The aluminum would be at least double that. We don't got that kind of time. So we're we actually, actually... do, but we just are too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cut the profile of the bat eight times. So we will actually have an octagon bat. And then we'll spin it up and that'll... The ninth pass will be the one that actually makes it round. We've got two out of our eight cuts done, and these first two cuts so far have us at about 31 minutes of cut time. And that starts to get pricey. It does, it's about $2 a minute. And it's for that reason that this video is sponsored by Raycon. Wait, who's that? Raycon is one of the best premium audio earbud companies in the world right now. But the big difference with them is their earbuds cost half as much as other leading brands. I'm messing with you. Of course, I know who they are. I'm the one who's been jamming them down your throat the last eight months. Now it's time for you to buy them. And celebrities like Snoop Dogg, J.R. Smith, and Mike Tyson are obsessed with Raycons. And Mike Tyson knows a thing or two about ears. Raycons are perfect for every situation. I use them when I'm at home, doing yard work, working here in the shop, and even in the office when I don't want to listen to Mitchell anymore. I have their Everyday E25. It's their latest and greatest model. I love them. They're super comfortable in the ear. It's got a great noise isolating fit. They have six hours of playback and tons of to get 15% off your order of Raycons, go to the link down in the description, or you can go to buyraycon.com slash waterjet. Again, that's buyraycon.com slash waterjet. Square back. 
four more cuts, and then it'll be Octobat. Battery died before I got to film all of it, but we now have an Octobat. I'd say it has probably eight sides. That's just a rough estimate. Now, we need to run the water jet on the same exact path with this spinning and see if we can take any of these off. I don't know how successful that's gonna be. Because as you can imagine, wood is considerably softer than aluminum. I was so hopeful. We thought it was actually doing something, but it did almost nothing. That's too bad. It barely softened our corners. If we ran it a lot slower, I think we could, like here where it ran slower, it's a little bit cleaner. But even then you can still see a very, some hard lines in there for sure. Very uh, geometric shape, very geometric. You know, so this is kind of what we were expecting, but we we're, we we're kind of hopeful just because it looked so good when it was spinning. So uh, the quickest step on this is going to be We're some gonna... 40 grit sandpaper. We've been going pretty hard at this for 30 minutes now with 40 grit sandpaper and it's just barely starting to get close. You can still see the uh, sections right there where the sandpaper still isn't touching because it's got to take these ridges down. But we are determined to come out with a product that actually resembles an actual aluminum bat so we can take to the driving range yes if we can even swing it i don't know how heavy this thing is yet but it's like it's a thousand pounds dan it's like gonna be less than 20. <laughs> that's not saying much though <laughs> I, I could swing 20 pounds if i had to <laughs> can you time swinging 20 pounds to hit a baseball that's coming at you i, mean, I could uh... barely hit a baseball so maybe <laughs> we could figure something out <laughs> This might be the prettiest thing we've ever made. It probably is. Before we started all of this, we weighed this bat and the, the billet aluminum that we started with was 20 pounds and like 13 ounces. So it was almost 21 pounds. We've weighed it now and it is eight pounds, two and a half ounces, which means we shed more than half the weight, but that's still how many pounds heavier than an actual bat? Okay. Like six pounds? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> this <is> way heavy. <laughs> the hard part with this is like 80% of your weight is all the way out at the end. <laughs> so like, because it's the distance over there, it's really like holding way more pounds. Because you're doing like this, that's easy to swing. We're out here to test the baseball bats. We've got the eight pound solid aluminum bat and we've got our 33 ounce ash wood bat. Wood bat, this is our baseline. <laughs> you barely hit it. Try again. I feel like you barely hit that one too. 
That's how I hit. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna hit him. What you got, Dan? Okay. Hey, you gotta rest it up there waiting for it. I'm gonna draw on his shoulder trying to swing this. Oh. There you go, straight down the middle. So I've hit quite a few of these out with the wood bat and I'm no baseball expert. Neither of us are. <laughs> That's true. But I can get it, you know, maybe 30 or 40 feet past the dirt, straight ahead. I'm not that far away from matching that with that bat, but that bat I'm swinging it way slower. Is it just the more mass? That's the physics, yeah, more mass. Even though it's slower, it's got a lot more force. It's less acceleration, but more mass. So similar forces. But you are a lot more likely to throw out a shoulder using that bat. Yep. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There you go. So if you want to look like an idiot at your local baseball diamond, get a solid aluminum bat. Everybody will think you are the most uncoordinated person on earth. <laughs>